Good evening, America. Your favorite presidential candidate for the 2024 race. And his dog's sounding like thunder upstairs. You know, I'm playing my favorite drinking game. Um, it's really dangerous for my health. Every time someone in the White House says something monumentally stupid, I have a drink. I'm just kidding. I don't play that game. I would die of alcohol poisoning rather quickly. But the topic of tonight's video, which I really hadn't planned on doing, is that I heard the White House press secretary say that they were working to reduce the penalties for violent crimes to include murder, sexual assault, rape, and other violent felonies. I'm also looking at some of the penalties for, you know, carrying a concealed deadly weapon. Um, and I'm starting to, to, like, really wonder, like, if there's no, hey buddy, if there's no recourse for committing a crime, what do I need the handgun permit for then? Um... You know, I kind of got to laugh at this because, you know, this stuff is really like they think it's going to hurt us because they have this like, security and they think they don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But I mean, at some point, someone's going to take a shot at them. Um, it's not going to be me. I mean, apart from politically speaking, I'm trying to get in the White House. Um, it's just like one of those things where you, you've really got to wonder what the logic is here. I mean, I guess they could be saying that, you know, the investigations into their ties to all sorts of corruption are starting to, like, bear fruit here, so maybe, you know, they're trying to make sure that they don't go to jail for too long for orchestrating murders, and, you know, there's the whole, uh, getting suicided thing that we joke about. Um... You gotta see this. I mean, he's... He likes to do this when I make my videos. The other one, I think, just went to bed. And he also chewed on this t-shirt a little bit earlier. Um, you know, and... I don't want to go on another rant here. I honestly... Haven't had enough drinks to really get a, a drunken rant going on. Um, it's my first one of the night. Actually, honestly, my only one. <laughs> Anytime I think I'm, like, really on a roll, my dog has to, one of my dogs has to come down here and, uh, sidetrack me. Like I was saying, you know, I'm, uh, I saw that reading 1984, A Brave New World, and was it one of the other ones out there? I forget the other book that they mentioned, um, could turn people into right-wing extremists. Um, but these days, piecing together what they're calling a right-wing extremist, it seems to be anyone who wants to be left alone while also leaving other people alone seems to be a right-wing extremist. So, I guess that's me. I want to be left alone. I'm sure you do as well. Um... You know, my, my conservative, or sorry, my more liberal friends, I should say, um, you know, say, well, hey, Mike, uh, you know, you have certain things to say about, you know, the transgenders, you know, you're not leaving them alone because you're trying to legislate them, you're trying to control their lives. Well, hold on. The fact of the matter is, is that, you know, my transgender friends, friend, I should say, you know, when they're off doing their things, being trans, that doesn't bother me, right? I mean, they were weird to begin with, and then they added this to it, so, like, I frankly wasn't all that shocked here. Um, but that doesn't affect me. It doesn't hurt me. So they do their thing. So I leave them alone. We can hang out. We can be friends. The only time it comes to be a problem is when it's forced upon me, forcing me to accept it. I'm stubborn. 
maybe a little bit bitter. Um, so if something's forced on me, I'm going to reject it outright immediately. That's my first reaction. My wife will tell, will tell you that. <laughs> um, but I digress. So, you know, it's their choice to do what they want. That doesn't affect me. It affects me when it's something that's forced on my kids. All right, my transgender friend doesn't come over to my house and twerk in front of my child. Or me, for that matter, because, like I said, I'm not into that. That's their thing. So, that's part of the whole leaving everyone alone thing. And once we start to understand that that's what a right-wing extremist really wants, is just to be left alone, then right-wing extremism doesn't really seem that bad. I mean, God forbid I have my constitutionally protected rights. Anyway, um, God bless America. I hope this video finds you well. Morning 2024. Hope you enjoyed my little, uh, my little rant here. You know, I, I can't even think of what the White House press secretary's name is. Um, I've heard it, you know, hundreds of times, but I just don't want to remember the name of someone so dumb. Um, anyway, we'll circle back to that another time.